Well, Berkeley Animal Center is in their second year of a program that advocates for community cats in the county area. Our Caitlin Ashbaugh shares how anyone can help save the lives of feline friends from overcrowding, death, and disease. It may be something you've seen before. Large groups of cats gathered close to a restaurant, a business, or a neighborhood. It's an issue Berkeley Animal Center says they're working overtime to fix. What we do is we usually go into areas, help educate people in that area on how to trap them, and then try to get somebody who can maintain them going forward. Trap, neuter, vaccinate, release. It's a two-year pilot program using cheaper costs with better outcomes at battling overpopulation, disease, and overcrowding in local shelters. They are incredibly adaptable and they are, can survive in every community. And so we are seeing free roaming cat populations in different volumes, but in every uh, area of the county. The Massachusetts Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals brings vets in from New England for one weekend each month to take care of up to 100 cats each trip. Kelly says it can become a vicious cycle more often in the South. It's warm all year round. Cats breed all year round. It becomes a bigger problem. And if you don't get it under control with spay neuter, it can just spiral and balloon into a massive issue. Dedicated community members line up outside the gates every month, some at early hours in hopes of getting a spot in the clinic. Michael Fields often works with large cat colonies and happened to be the first in line this morning. Depending on the weather, I will set up a tarp and uh, lay back and catch a little sleep uh, before they, they actually start. Each car can bring up to 10 cats. Volunteers take them in by appointment, then walk-ins, one cat at a time. Field says it's not for everyone, but for him, the hard work pays off. This is a commitment that uh, I, I just feel it's, it's right for Michael Fields. The program has TNVR'd 2,288 cats and kittens since starting in April of last year. The group hopes a more permanent solution can be put in place between local resources once it ends. When we all join forces together, the community, animal welfare, the county, and legislators, we all work together, we can find new solutions that help cats. The group will have its next TNVR clinics on December 16th and 17th. If you're interested in learning more, head to this web story at live5news.com. In Berkeley County, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Live 5 News.